Hi everyone, it's Stephen Stokes with Remax Sunshine. This is Friday, early morning, about 8.30 in the morning, and I've got a great surprise. I'm going to show you this wonderful, stunning, contemporary home. This is 2,844 square feet of living area. It's got a master suite, a junior suite, two guest bedrooms, a great room. It's got 23-foot wide pocketing sliding glass doors that go out to the pool area, a formal dining room, or you can make it a study. It's got a spacious three-car garage. Look at that profile. Look at that, that grass insert on the front drive. Tell me what you think of that. It's very different. Let's go around the outside first before we go in and have a look. So right here we have uh, an air conditioning unit. You see how they've put the air conditioning unit protected, raised uh, into a little enclave. And they've got another AC unit here that has two AC units. Boy, the, the dragonflies are out today. Here's your pool equipment. You got the pool heater, saltwater pool, of course, on this beautiful home. Again, 2023, brand new construction. 150 feet of canal width right here, guys. It's beautiful. And you've got great access to the Gulf of Mexico here. You can get out in about 40 minutes. Look at that size of that canal. Just beautiful. Of course, this is a healthy system here. You can catch jacks right off the seawall if you'd like. There's your back profile of the home. We're going to go up and take a look in a minute. It's a really unique build. Uh, I'm really curious to know what you think of this. It's modern, right? It's a bit different for this area. I have a feeling you're going to either love it or you're going to hate it. <laughs> and of course, some of you who followed me for a while don't mind telling me when you hate something. <laughs> and I appreciate that. I really do. Uh, you know, I just show these homes and I make myself available. If ever you decide to come down to Southwest Florida, I can show you around. We can go view the homes personally. That's what I'm here for. So I don't mind the comments. In fact, I look forward to them. Now going around quickly to the front again, you'll notice that interesting AstroTurf on the concrete drive. Not sure if I like that or not. Let me know what you think. Certainly beautiful entrance way here with a very unique door. I haven't seen any doors like that in this area. Opens up to this grand entrance. We've got those linear AC diffusers up in the ceiling, with the tray ceiling. And then here on the left, this is what they're calling either a study or a formal dining room, believe it or not. Very interesting, right? So we've got this, this room. There is a closet, so I guess it could even be a uh, could even be a bedroom, but it's not going to be very good for a bedroom because it's got these glass doors. So they're calling this either a study or a formal dining room. Yeah, really interesting, right? Formal dining room. You'd come in here, close the glass doors, and drink Cavassier, I guess. It's weird. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> Let's look at the garage. So we have a three-car gar three garage. We've got the glass inserts in the doors to let in lots of light. We do not have an external door in here, though. We have, of course, the epoxy floor. And look at this uh, profile of the garage. So you have to step down quite a bit to get in here. It's raised up quite high with an elevation there. Another look at that glass door going into your formal dining area. Here is our first bathroom. All these bathrooms have these floating cabinets, which are kind of neat. Very fancy sink. And look at that tile on the back wall. It almost looks like textured fabric. Right across from that, we have the laundry area or the laundry room. Look at these European style cabinets with the quartz. And one thing I do like, I'd like to bring up, is that they have put all of the um, air handling equipment here on ground level, which is really nice. Usually they put that in the garage. I do like to have it down low like that so you can get at it and clean it. Whoa, here's the great room. I mean, you can see those linear um, AC diffusers in the ceiling, lots of accent lighting. Um, gorgeous area, right? Just gorgeous area. Let's get a better look at it here so I can show you the kitchen. By the way, this is a European-style custom-designed kitchen. High-end Bosch appliances are going to be included. You've got that large center island with a double, wa double waterfall quartz. Um, you know, uh, waterfall. <laughs> double, double waterfall quartz waterfall. There you go. Pretty neat. Look at that light up there. 
I mean, somebody made that. I'll just leave it at that. Here's a uh, little wine cellar here. Check this out. Right? Good for your, your wine or your juice bottles or whatever you're into. And then this is interesting. This is a little like secret door. Opens up into this super large pantry. Look at the ceiling. <laughs> Massive pantry. Leave it to the Europeans to come up with something like that. It's pretty cool. Great look at the island right there. Great look at the countertop. Stove there. Again, the, the two-tone shiny white with that gray material cabinetry. We go in here, have a look at our bedroom. It's a pretty standard size bedroom. And what do we have in here? Just a closet, tall closet. Let's check out the other bedroom. Again, looks pretty standard to me. It's got a fan, same type of closet. And here's your, here's your bathroom. Again, that, that floating cabinet, right? There's a sink way at the end of the cabinet. There it is. <laughs> here is the shower. Now, here's that fabric-looking tile we talked about. It's really interesting. I haven't seen that before. Let me know what you think of that. I wonder if that would be a bugger to clean. Hey, I love that floor drain. So there's a lot of different stuff going on here in this shower. And thankfully, there's a window. It's pretty neat. Frameless glass shower enclosure. And they've got those mirrors, those smart mirrors. How's it going, guys? Smart mirrors that I dare not try to turn on and off because I did that once and I couldn't figure out how to get it off. So I'm just going to leave that on for now. Let's go over and uh, take a look at the main bedroom. There's a good look at the entrance profile. Let's go look at the main bedroom. I haven't seen it yet. This is my first time looking at this home. That's pretty standard. Nothing special there. That's a pretty standard looking area. Oh, wow. I think there's a surprise coming up there in the bathroom. There's our big walk-in closet. There is no closet hardware put in there yet. I assume he's going to put some stuff in there. Look at this. All right, so we've got what they call a wet room. <laughs> this is so wild. And look at the cabinetry in here. I mean, those floating cabinets, but Look at the extent of the cabinetry in your bathroom. Again, that European style, European design. Quartz countertops, floating cabinet underneath. The smart mirror, that's a big smart mirror. It's a really smart mirror. There's that wet room, which we're going to go in and take a look at in a minute. But what is this over here? We've got this uh, glass enclosure here. Strange. Is this like a shower or something? Another shower? Wow, it's the water closet. How about that, guys? That's a water closet. Uh, I got to go back in and look at this. I'm going to sit down in here and, and see what this is all about. I've never seen anything like this. So I guess you'd come in here in your water closet and take a seat. There you go. And no one would know you're in here, but you get lots of light. You've got that window up there, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if I like that or not, but... It's certainly cool looking. Yeah, look at that. Never, ever have I seen something like that before. Um, let's go check out this wet room. I love the tile combination in here. We've got a beautiful floor with the those drains that I like. We have that marble looking tile here with the textured tile. Uh, actually, that's not textured tile. What is that? That's like a tile that's like a wood look tile. That's different again. Look at that. It's a lot going on in here. There's your tub. So the idea here is that you can come in here, close the glass enclosure, and I guess you can just go wild, right? You can have a, a, a squirt gun fight if you want, whatever you want to do. Everything stays enclosed. You can get your shower, your bath, you can splish splash. That's the way they do it. Very interesting. So glad I had an opportunity to show you uh, that bathroom because it's so unique. Let's go back out to the main room. You get a real good sense of that style out here. Again, 2,844 square feet. Now, this is a 23-foot opening here that goes out to the lanai. Let me open these up. Of course, everything is hurricane grade in this home. 
Let me open this up and show you out here. We have a summer kitchen. We have that beautiful wood uh, ceiling out here with the accent lights. I love that. And the summer kitchen does have a nice big opening above it. Believe it or not, some of these expensive homes, they don't put the opening above the summer kitchen, which I think is a big mistake. It's great for ventilation, let the light in. So that's a great summer kitchen there. Good look at your pool area. I could not get the pool to turn on because I'm not that smart, but this is a 300 and, uh, 360 degree spillover spa with these sparkling glass tiles. We'll look at that in a minute. There's a sun shelf. I know that for sure. There's a built-in uh, three bar stool, which I'm going to show you. And you've got that, that false negative edge with the 30 foot wide panoramic panoramic screen window. We call that a clear view, um, which I'll show you in a minute. Let's just go over here and take another, another angle at this. So I think this pool is definitely worth a little bit of attention. Um, really looks beautiful. Again, this is only about 8.30 in the morning, so the sun hasn't come over on this side yet. This is a western exposure pool. But when the sun hits this, it's all going to sparkle, right? Just look at that. Beautiful. Let's go close and see if I can just show you the color of these tiles. They're, they're like little gems. Look at that. So nice. And this is what they call a, three stick, a 360 spillover spa. Say that five times fast. A 360 spillover spa. So the water, waterfalls on all sides. You got some beautiful steps coming down here. And look at those three bar stools in the pool. No need to get out of the pool to have a drink. You can just sit there all day. It's a beautiful pool. Let me open up these doors and show you how they're all total breakaway. Look at that. So the doors go back, they disappear. They open up the entire outside to the inside. Absolutely beautiful. Lots of footage out here uh, like we talked about. 45 feet by 14 feet covered lanai. Big area. There's your back view of that. You see how it all opens up. I mean, this is a super clean looking home, right? It's a European style. It's not a traditional style that I, I show a lot of. Really curious what you think of this, what you like, what you don't like. And what do you get that light up there? I mean, that's a bit bizarre, right? It's like something from the Iron Man series. Here we have just a closet. And this is the junior suite. That's what they're calling this next area. So this is the junior suite the junior main bedroom, I guess. It's nice, nice big window. You got the sliders going to the outside, the tray ceiling. You got a massive walk-in closet here. The ceilings in these closets are really tall. So if you wanna put a ladder in there, you could, I guess. And here's your bathroom, also the pool bath. Now this is interesting, look at this. They've put sinks on both sides here in this little area. That's something I've never seen before. I mean, the sinks are beautiful. And of course, all the high tech stuff, you've got this, uh, can't open that. I'm not smart enough to figure that out. There we go. You've got this beautiful bathroom, but they've put double sinks in here in a small space. And they've got the matching shower, of course, with the rest of the home with that, with that beautiful tile in the back. Interesting. You can see these cabinets are all floating cabinets. So it looks like there's not any base to them. Let me know what you think of this house and uh, give me a comment, a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. I wanted to show something a bit different today. It's Friday. I'm kind of bored and I thought it'd be a great home to show you. Also, if you're in the area or if you're coming to the area, reach out. I can show you around. We can go look at some of these properties. That's primarily what I do. I primarily deal with out-of-state buyers. You can reach out 239-645-2405. I can answer any questions. I can send you a map of the area. I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.